like this video, and subscribe right now, or you will have a bad day tomorrow. I've always looked at battle rap as competition, war. The main objective is to destroy, completely fucking obliterate your opponent by saying anything and everything, whatever the fuck you can, to get a reaction from the crowd. So, nothing's off limits. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy. I mean, you win. You get it? We. In you window, but if you win it, when it's finished, in the end, end you win. Window. Do As I hit the mic. <laughs> Let's go. Look, we got a new video for you guys. This is Tom McDonald, Dear Slim. Well, it's happy Monday. It's Marshall Monday. We out here getting these videos done on Marshall Monday, and I thought this would be the best way to celebrate this week's Marshall Monday with a tribute to Slim and. Yeah, on an Eminem beat in particular that is owned <laughs> by Tom McDonald. Tom McDonald is a very controversial artist, and a lot of his songs I don't think I have a problem with. I think I enjoy all his music, if I'm not mistaken. I, I have an ear for a lot of uh, music, and I'm slowly getting into Tom McDonald, so I'm trying to hear exactly how his music is and his sound and where he's coming from but people could probably say the same thing about me especially when i start posting music of my sound and everything like that but yeah so i'm excited i seen a trailer um he was in the hockey mask and stuff like that and i was like bro what is he about to people kept speculating it was gonna be a diss to eminem i was like he's not about to diss eminem no he, that, that don't even sound right so i'm gonna we're gonna watch this together <laughs> Without further ado, let's get right into the video, and here we go. Dear Slim, I thought you might have heard of me, maybe, because lately everywhere I turn, someone's comparing us crazy. Okay, first of all, seven seconds in, I'm, I'm, I'm trying not to pause as much as possible, um, unless I need to say something important, but it's already giving me the, um, the Stan vibe. Which I think is uh, funny because this song is called Stan's Revenge. So it's giving me the Stan vibe, like Dare Slim. It's like um, very similar to the, the Stan songs, like Dare Slim, I wrote you, but you still haven't called me. That's that's how I feel like it, it's been giving me those kind of vibes with this, with that he did. But he is like, this, as soon as the beat started, he wasted no time getting into it. Let's go. Dear Slim, I thought you might have heard of me maybe Because lately everywhere I turn someone's comparing us crazy I never would have thought when I was bumping Biggie and Pac That I would buy bleach in a box and become the product of shape But I'm here now Hi, my name is Tom McDonald, people call me controversial I'm the one that counterculture follows Every song I drop's a problem, I offend an awful lot With topics commenting on race and politics, I'm pretty awesome Dear Hey, he said I'm pretty awesome Ha <laughs> I like it. I like how he put words together too. It's actually pretty cool. See, as is, this is what you should have done. Not stop dissing people that you're cool with or inspire you or you guys. Be, like if like I I know you said you was in the group together, whatever. But come on, man, this is not. No, you guys shouldn't be dissing each other. You shouldn't attack Eminem because you're jealous of him. And is that a picture of Tom McDonald? Yo, is that a picture of Tom McDonald in a photo the same as Eminem took that said Slim Shady? Yo, I I don't know if you guys ever seen the, the photo before. I If I can remember, I try to post it up on the screen. I, honestly, I don't even know. Sometimes I just do things spare the moment, so hopefully I remember. I'm trying to get this video up soon, too. So, But this Eminem picture looks just like that. Very interesting. Any other Easter eggs over here? Uh, Red... Not deal. I don't know. I don't see any other like Easter eggs. There might be a mask, I think, but other than that, everything else looks normal. Slim, I know we're very different politically. Seems like some of your biggest fans are the victims I'm triggering. They're convinced I don't like you, which ain't consistent with history. I was picked on as a kid, and they don't know what Slim did for me. But I'm here now, and I fight the system just like you. Was addicted to pills and liquor and quit them just like you. People claim that you hate me, but Marshall, that can't be right, dude. You'd have to hate yourself as well, because Marshall, I'm you. Marshall, remember back when you became Eminem. You changed the world with a pen. Well now I'm just like you I don't give a white sand what I want with my fingers up Everybody triggered and they think I 
that's all. But I don't give a white name. Slim. I thought that maybe because you paved the way for me, you might relate to weight that Caucasian rappers are carrying. They're constantly comparing us to you. It's embarrassing. Never gaining their approval. It's just hate we're inheriting. <laughs> Man, he's pretty much saying that, um, exactly. He's, he's pretty much comparing us exactly how he feels like he's Eminem for the most part. Um, it's like especially growing up and especially how he is now the controversy and stuff or how he put his words together stuff like that and i like how he putting his words together i'm, I'm gonna keep saying it because that that's really cool how he's doing it <laughs> i like it but i'm here now go ahead and hate it don't hurt call me culture vulture garbage those are ignorant words i kill a vulture cook the poultry in a pan till it's burnt see marshall i'm just like you i'm flipping the bird dear slim I bars <laughs> Bars. I just want to give you your flowers. I spent hours memorizing all of your songs in 2000. You were the reason I screamed it. All of my teachers, a teen, I needed your CD on repeat and shady space on my t shirt. But I'm here now. They call me controversial just like you. We're both white, both red, both of our eyes blue. Screw any guy who tries to say you changed and don't like you. Cause in my mind, it's still 99. And I'm you. Marshall, remember back when you became Eminem. You changed the world with a pen. Well, now I'm just like you I don't give a what saying what I want with my fingers up Everybody triggered and they think I suck But I don't give a what nah, 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 nah. Whether you love me or hate me or think I'm crazy Dropped a hundred grand to get a beat from Shady I really hope when I bought it he wasn't angry But I really had to tell him that he changed me The truth of the matter is without you Marshall Mathers I would have committed suicide before I was a rapper You showed me that I could do it I didn't need to be black or I know it's stupid But I just had to do my best to say thank you Okay, 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 okay I'm feeling that, especially because he's saying like he I mean that Marshall gave a lot of people he paid the way for a lot of people to feel like i can do this i can be this artist i feel like in a way he probably inspired me too low-key i mean who knows like a lot of people inspired me to kind of feel like i could do what i do now and is it takes that initial push to get you to go but you got to keep running you got to keep pushing because sometimes being an artist being a youtuber just stuff is not easy already even when you first start you kind of feel like can i do this being the color of his skin and especially when for, when you first come out eminem was probably the most controversial rapper being a white rapper people's probably looking like uh-uh get the, get this dude out of here dr dre gave him a chance and now look at him it's crazy and I'm sure Tom McDonald probably feels the same way. It's like he probably felt like he wouldn't even be able to be rapping right now if it was for Eminem um, showing that it's possible to just give people a chance, you know? Marshall, remember back when you became Eminem. You changed the world with a pen. Well, now I'm just like you. I don't give a what, saying what I want with my fingers up. Everybody triggered and they think I suck. But I don't give a what, nah, 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 nah. nah. Remember back when you became Eminem You changed the world with a pen Well now I'm just like you I don't give a what saying what I want with my fingers up Everybody triggered and they think I suck But I don't give a what na 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 I don't give a what na 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 This is this as far as I've got this is similar to Joyner Lucas's Will um song to Will. Now what I mean by that is just kinda like an ode, a tribute, giving Eminem his flowers, just showing his appreciation, saying without I wouldn't be here without you kind of deal. And I'm feeling that, especially because he's saying like he Eminem Marshall gave a lot of people he paid the way for a lot of people to feel like i can do this i can be this artist i feel like in a way he probably inspired me too low-key i mean who knows like a lot of people inspired me to kind of feel like i could do what i do now and is it takes that initial push to get you to go but you got to keep running you got to keep pushing because sometimes being an artist being a youtuber just stuff is not easy already even when you first start you kind of feel like can i do this being the color of his skin and especially when for, when you first come out eminem was probably the most controversial rapper being a white rapper people's probably looking like uh-uh get the, get this dude out of here dr dre gave him a chance and now look at him 
it's crazy and i'm sure tom mcdonald probably feels the same way it's like he probably felt like he wouldn't even be able to be rapping right now if it was for eminem um showing that it's possible to just give people a chance you know <laughs> um pretty much the song i think was really cool to hear that i wasn't sure how people was going to do these kind of song stuff like that i did want to rap on a beat i first heard it i was going to do that or but hey I got plenty of song ideas and stuff I'm trying to get done. And as the ambulance outside makes all the noise while I'm on the mic, because it does this every single time I'm recording. Jesus. Yeah, so if you guys enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Share with your friends. I put new videos out every single week. Theme in your window all day, every day. Man, I appreciate you guys so much. Just want to say from the bottom of my heart, I really do. We're going to grow together, man. We, we do this thing. We do this. Um, I'm out here trying to grow, change the world, man. I'm trying to one, one step at a time, man. I got so much that I'm trying to get done. I, I'm trying to really push as a YouTuber, get these videos and stuff out. I'm wor working at my job right now, but now I want to be able to find something better than that. I want to be able to um, move on my music and stuff and... Yeah, hopefully I can sustain like a real good career doing what I, I love and making good money in a regular career and stuff. That's pretty cool. So yeah, thank you guys so much. Stay blessed, no stress, and let God take care of the rest. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good day. Peace. Peace, 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 peace. There's a constant tug of war with me inside my head that how am I supposed to be? When I hear people say they miss the old Eminem, and then I do the old Eminem. People go, oh man, he's too old to do that. He needs to mature his content. He's growing up as a, as a man. He's in his 40s and he's supposed to be this way or that way. And he's, he needs to mature. And then when I do that, then people go back to, I miss old Eminem. If you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that like button. It is appreciated. Subscribe if you're new and turn post notifications on all so you can be notified when I put new videos out. As always, drop a comment which you like or didn't like about the video. It doesn't matter to me. I respond to every single comment. I am dropping new videos every single week. So let's go team in you window. I love you. Enjoy the rest of your day. Peace.